Hi, I'm John from Oakley Global Business Solutions, and today we'll be introducing you to VATPAC. The VATPAC reporting suite is a Microsoft Excel based application that uses custom libraries created by Oakley Global Business Solutions to extract information from your Sage 300 system. It then collates this information in a format as specified by the HMRC. It can then submit this information electronically to the HMRC to conform with the latest MTD requirements. That pack can either be run from the directory from which it's installed. Uh, as you can see, we have the Excel file here. and can be opened as any usual Excel file by double-clicking on it. Or what you can do is you can create a shortcut within your Sage 300 system. We'll be using this one I created earlier in my tax services menu. And as you can see, we've called it Batpack here. And to access, we'll just double click on the icon. This will then start your version of Excel with all of the Batpack add-ins included. When we first look at the Batpack menu, we have four tabs. The first one we have is Bat Return. This is where you can go and run your Bat 100 reports. We also have the EC sales list, where obviously you can um, run the EC sales list. Review submissions is where you can look over previously submitted data to the HMRC. And then the VAT pack status. This will tell you your license information and also the expiry date. So to run a VAT return, what we'll do is we'll go to the VAT return option. The first thing we have here is the select company or tax group. Um, as VATPAC can manage uh, tax groups within a system where you would have multiple companies all with the same VAT number or you have uh, single companies. Once these have been set up, you can select which company or tax group you want to run the report on from this drop down here. Once you've selected the company, it will then go and look at the tax authorities that are set up within that company. And at this point, it will give you a list of all your tax authorities. And from there, you can decide which ones you actually want to run the VAT return on. The next stage is to choose either the document date that you want to run the VAT return up to or the posting period that you want to go up to in your um, report. The way that VATPAC works is that it will go to the beginning of time and it will look for any transactions in your Sage 300 system that have never appeared on a VAT return. So i.e. once you've reconciled a report, the next time you run it, those items will not appear on that report. We're going to run it using our transaction date. So if I set this to be the 30th of September, I can then specify in here a VAT reporting period. So this is important for when it's going online. They wish to know what your VAT reporting period is it's going to. We're going to go up to period nine. And once I've got my criteria entered, I can then click run VAT report. So once the report was run, I got a little message saying that it's generated the report. And from here, if I close the VATPAC menu window here, here I can see my uh, summary results. So it will show me the figures in the HMRC boxes. Also down here, we have a detail report and a copy of detail report. The main difference between the two is the detail report is a read-only report so we can't change any part of this report this will then go on to form the uh, audit trail or the evidence that will be uh, needed for HMRC we do have a copy of detail report this one is a uh, an open worksheet so you can actually go in here add formulas add things up put filters on the transaction so very useful when you're looking for you know all the items that say make up box one you can put a filter up here and say just show me the items that make box one. Say yes on here. These are all your sales transactions that appear in box one. Once you're happy with the report and the results, the, the last part of the, the transaction is to actually then send the return to HMRC and reconcile it. To do this, we have a reconcile period button at the top of the VAT return. We can click on this button here. This will then give us a warning message to say that this submission will be going off to the HMRC and it's obviously the customer's responsibility to make sure it's correct. But once we're happy with that, we can click on OK and it will then now offer to send the 
submission. We're using a test submission in this instance, so it's going off to a, a test server. At this point, the submission will then be going off to the HMRC. And at this point, we've got a message telling us that the transaction has been successfully received. The HMRC, they've done a spot check on the figures and they're happy with what's, what's in there. If I click on OK here, if I then go to the message log, we can now see here that obviously the message has been submitted. We've got a transaction IT ID that's been given to us by the HMRC. So we now have proof that they have received that transmission. Also, as part of the reconcile period, every transaction that was in that detail report has now got a tick against it, so we know it has been submitted successfully, and next time we run the report, we will not see those transactions. So, if we were to run the report again with the same criteria, and we'll use the 30th of September as our date again, Again, we'll use the same VAT period as period 9, and if I click on there, it then comes up and says there are no details to process, as all previous information was already sent on the, the prior VAT return. This has been a quick demo to show you how easy it is to do a VAT return using VATPAC and Sage 300. If you have any queries, please contact our sales department. Thanks for watching.